Okay, so the following is just a summary of how I installed the wiring harness in my uh, JL Wrangler. So they've changed it. Like if you watch a couple of videos out there, there's two videos, one from Quadratech, another from uh, CJ Off-Road, and they all talk about ripping out the interior to install that. You don't have to do that anymore. It all kind of just runs um, underneath the frame of the vehicle. So um, I will um, underneath this section right here and over the over the tire. So um, I'm gonna just show you what I did or what I had to do, just a quick talk through. You can still kind of use that CJ Off-Road video to kind of give you an idea of how to route the wires in the tail lights themselves, because that doesn't change, neither does they adapt it, that needs to be stuck in the passenger side tail light. Those instructions don't change. So they're still kind of valid, and if you watch them, it's gonna give you a better idea of what's really going on. And um, I think the only challenge that I had, another challenge that I had that I forgot to mention is um, trying to get that seven way pin connector plugged in. Uh, the letters are deep inside there and they're kind of, they're kind of hard to see. And I also did it at night last night. So, but overall, I think it's not too horrible a process compared to the uh, part where you have to completely undo your whole interior, take out the subwoofer and whatever else not. So this was, uh, this was a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk through it right now and show you what's up. All right, so quite an improvement on this new Mopar kit now. All you gotta do is take out this headlight and, uh, well, both headlights, and then you gotta come in here, you open that tab right there with just a screwdriver or a panel remover more likely so you don't scratch it up. In there, there's a little uh, screw. I think it's a 10 millimeter. You unscrew that, it's a plastic screw that's about uh, what, two, two and a half or three inches long. You take that out, um, that allows you to pull this out. And then on the passenger side, same thing, you pop that out and then do the same thing with a little screw and then that pops out. After you're done with that, you take the whole wire loom. Uh, it's basically one harness, so it's like one big wire and you basically shove it in through, there's a hole down there. You shove it in through a hole uh, that goes underneath the vehicle, all right? So it goes underneath the vehicle and then you just, oh, I don't wanna get dirty, but I'm gonna do this for you guys. Um, so basically that wire comes out um, off the tail light and it routes like this and goes to the other tail light. So the two yellow wires are the ones that go all the way up here. The multiple wires come here and they plug into the seven pin, uh, which also gives power to the four pin. So let me zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so that, that gives power to the seven pin and the four pin adapter, but that's the wire, all right? So that same wire, okay, I dropped my phone. So that same wire also goes up through here that's that same wire right there I still need to cut these shorter and it goes up on top of this frame right here and it goes all the way to the front so they have you take this off and that's two or three eight millimeter bolts well actually no that was with the I believe that was with the other kit with this kit I don't think you got to take this off so what you do actually which was probably the most annoying part is you got to cut all these rivets out and it's it's kind of painful and i think it's kind of destructive because i kind of scratched this a little bit while trying to do that but that'll be covered up when i put the next rivet in so um that was the most annoying part and then all the uh, little plugs of course always break when you take those out so you can see those are missing there. The fender still stays in there even without them, but I've ordered some replacements uh, to go in there. So that is the most annoying thing about this, that you gotta pull this whole um, passenger rear side fender completely out um, to do this kit because the wire you can see is running up there. But I believe you know, you can do it without taking it out. I think if you just held it like this and kind of shove the uh, the harness up there, that would totally work too. So that's how I would do it next time if I had to redo it. But then the wire runs, uh, let's see, 
So the wire runs underneath here and above the rail all the way to the front. Okay, so you don't have to do anything inside at all. And that is the setup. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. That is the most annoying thing, but uh, that's about it. So the worst thing about that, I know I mentioned that this is this was the most annoying thing, you know, just from marring it up. But the worst thing about that is that this is not a standard rivet. So the pieces that go in there that you're supposed to push in with a rivet gun actually don't work very, um, they don't work with a regular rivet gun. Let me show you. So I actually have this rivet gun here, just an arrow, and it's a four size rivet. And yet, all right, and uh, this is the package and the package uh, part number right there that comes with the, with the, this, well, this one, I also, I also put a bunch of zip ties in there, so that's not everything that comes in here, so, um, but I'm gonna take out, okay, so this is one of the rivet deals that's gonna go in there. So when you open this kit up, and I'm, I'm not like a professional riveter or anything, this is, uh, uh, what is this, uh, three, Sixteenths, yeah, this is a three sixteenths rivet, and it's the biggest one that comes in this kit. The other ones are five thirty second, uh, one eighth, and um, what is this? Uh, three thirty second. So uh, none of them work. You know, the biggest one is that, and as you can see, this here. is way too thick for that. So that doesn't work for that. So I need to figure out what rivet gun I need to do that. The instructions don't really even talk about that and tell you what rivet gun you might need. And I'm gonna show you the instructions because I think, I think the instructions were pretty bad themselves too. So it's basically, this is what it looks like. All right, so it's, uh, I'm gonna zoom in here for a second to allow you to pause it in case you want to look at what's in the kit. All right. And that's a harness right there. So it's literally just one piece anymore. Well, technically two pieces if you want to count um, this adapter piece that goes on the, on the driver's side. But just completely one piece on this harness. The last one used to come out in two pieces or even three pieces, I thought. But anyways. Um, so this is what it looks like. So it basically runs on the passenger side of the vehicle. You've got to remove the wheel well uh, in here, but I think you can even do it without taking out that wheel well. So you don't have to deal with the whole riveting situation. So then that goes on the rail of the vehicle. There's some other wiring that runs in there. So you can actually zip tie it to that but it goes under the rail, then up into the hood. I just found a place. I didn't, you're supposed to technically take out the, uh, a couple of rivets from this section as well, and the two uh, button, uh, button head fasteners that are in there, or Christmas fasteners, they call them, I guess, that are in here at the bottom. So you're supposed to take two of those out. I didn't, I just found a way to route that up the hood, and then it came out on the uh, passenger side, if you're looking at the, at the fuse box came out on the passenger side, and then I just uh, uh, fixed it to the fuse box, fuse box position number one, which is uh, frontmost, all right? And then on the rear, all the wires go in through this light right here. So the whole wire loom that I just showed you goes through that. And then the yellow wire, the two yellow wires come all the way out of the driver's side tail light, and then the seven-way adapter uh, or the, the wires for the for the hitch itself come out right, right over here. Um, so that's it. It's really simple if you don't follow the instructions and you just kind of go underneath it and route them like how you think wires would be routed. Just follow some of the routers that are already out or some of the wires that are already in there. That makes it pretty simple. And then this is on a four door, but doesn't really change really.
and then when you get up into the hood, this is where you fasten the ground. There's an empty spot right there, which you just loosen with a 10 millimeter bolt and you fasten the, the, the ground to that. And then this goes between the fuse box and the battery to the fuse box. And it just uh, fastens on the fuse box, um, the front position right there. And this is the ground, that's it. And so that's basically how you set it up. So a lot of instructions and maybe confusing depending on your aptitude or what you're into, but um, this is that bolt that I was talking about in the rear. That's that uh, three inch bolt, whatever it's plastic, a plastic piece that holds in the tail light. So you pop that out in the back and then you release that using a 10 millimeter bolt. All right, and this is with the tail light out, and then you gotta kind of pinch this to remove this. You could have a challenge trying to separate those two things. Just remember to pinch hard, uh, push down on that black tab. But uh, over here, this is all the wires going through the passenger window, or oh, not the passenger window, but the passenger side uh, tail light. So you shove them all through there and then route them down. Okay, I think that's okay. So this is that um, adapter, or I forget, I, for, I forget the name of it, but it's a, like basically a little junction box where all the wires and stuff like, it's the control, the brains of the whole system. So that just needs to be stuck in the tail light uh, and it comes with two-sided stickies. You just peel and stick onto that. And uh, that's that part. Hold, press it and hold onto it for 30 seconds so it sticks. This here is the part that I was talking about. You gotta cut all those rivets out to take that fender out. Like I said, I think if you just get down there, you can probably find a way of doing this without cutting those uh, um, those rivets out because that's pretty messy right there and it adds to your work. And then this is all the Christmas tree fasteners that you gotta take out. And more than likely, they are all gonna break. So, oh, uh, that sucks. So this is the cable routing right here. So you can see it runs just above your tire. So you should be able to reach that uh, if you got factory tires anyway. That's just above your tires. So you should be able to reach that from the back and do it without, um, without cutting that fender out or taking that fender out. And then this is the wire out here, starting to go to the front, just right above the rail. This is towards the front of the vehicle. All right. Okay, so that's it right there. Still continuing to the front of the vehicle. And you're supposed to put in uh, every 100 millimeters, you're supposed to put in the zip ties. Uh, same thing, wire going to the front. And then these are those included rivets. Well, no, this is the front part, as a matter of fact. This is the two front rivets that you gotta take out. I didn't do this part. This is the part I just mentioned that I didn't do. So I was able to just sneak that in from underneath the vehicle. Like I just laid down right here. And with a hanger, I just fished that wire all the way up, up to the top. All right, so. Uh, let's see here. Nothing really. I didn't do this part, so. I'm not sure what that was all about, but that was unnecessary for me. All right, this is that uh, ground wire and that's where it attaches. I'll try to zoom in. It attaches right there. Um, there's two positions. This one is actually empty right here. So you just attach that. And then let's see if they've got the other wire. Okay, so Hmm, that's not right either. Okay, I'll just talk it through, I guess. So the other wire then, oh, there it is right here, sorry. So the ground attaches up there and then you route between the battery and the fuse box. You route the power wire and that goes to the fuse location right here. They've got this in the second position, which is actually occupied by something else. This first position doesn't have anything in it, and this is where I put mine, and it seems to be working just fine. In the videos with CJ and Quadratech, they fastened it to this post right here. So I just went with that, but if you wanna follow the instructions, just do that right there, okay? And then, let's see. 
And that's about it. I didn't end up having a big loom like this, so I didn't have to tie anything up here. I just started from the back of the vehicle, and when I got up here, I didn't have that much wire left over, so. All right, this is just attaching. You then go back to the back and uh, connect everything up. Okay, so that's in the back right here. This is just rotting the wires. And they're actually talking about these zip ties. They've got these special zip ties that they have, which um, uh, have Christmas uh, fasteners on them. They go into holes that are on top. If you're laying down under your vehicle, on top of that rail that runs on the back of your vehicle, there's holes up there, four in the middle and then the two on the end. Uh, that you used to put those in and then you loop the wire, you um, zip tie the wire, you know, into that. Okay, this is the two yellow wires coming out of the passenger side mirror, uh, <laughs> mirror coming out of the passenger side tail light that I was talking about that uh, connect that up. So here they're talking about not removing um, not removing the inside pieces. If you watch the CJ and the Quadratech video, they pull these out so that they can actually fit that yellow wire in there. And here they're saying not to do that, all right? I actually had to do it because I was having some trouble getting the wires in there. So I took out this part right here so I could put the wire in and then, no, 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 this is the side with the thinner wire, the male uh, piece. I didn't have to do anything with that. That fit. I'm not going to say just fine. I had to kind of squeeze it in there, but it went in. The one on this side, however, gave me some trouble, and I ended up pulling this out just using those videos. Uh, pulled this piece out right here, and then I was able to put that wire in and then put this back in. So not sure why they're saying not to do it, but if you can do it without doing that, all good. So this is the two yellow wires. One goes to the left, one goes to the right. And you'll be able to see the one that's slightly thinner, that looks more like a pin, uh, goes into this side right here because the pins will come out like that. And then the one that looks more squarey goes to this side, All right? Okay, so let's see what we're looking at here. This was part of the problem here, just trying to decipher these diagrams. So here they're fastening uh, the harness to the vehicle using another special type of zip tie which has like a clip on it and if you're watching those CJ, CJ videos or the Quadratech video they'll show you exactly how to put that on and how to uh, push that onto the body of your vehicle inside the uh, the driver's side or the passenger side tail light so that's what that is this here is a wiring diagram for um, for the seven-way uh, seven way electrical. So what you're looking at here is, I didn't actually, this is very important. I didn't see this diagram because I just started doing it without following the instructions, but I didn't see this diagram, but it actually helps you out a whole lot to figure out where what letter is because the letters are kind of hard to see. They're in there, but they're kind of hard to see when you're looking at this plug right here to do it. So, but that's the orientation right there. So that's white, black, uh, blue, green, red, um, brown, and yellow. So the BUs and the BN kind of got confusing for me. So I decided to read that out for you. Uh, let's see, sorry about that. There's an alarm going off. Um, let's see. So then, yeah, after you put those in, you just put this retainer right here so they, it separates the wires out. And they're, they're just talking about putting on that piece and that that's too easy. That just comes together real easy. You put, you fasten that onto the vehicle. You can actually do this piece at any time. And then uh, you just slip this into that. And this all comes with the kit. So uh, that's another one of those special zip ties right there that I was talking about with the Christmas fastener. The fastener goes into the hole on the, uh, this mounting block for the electrical, for the hitch. And then you just loop around like that and tie it up. Okay, so here, what are we looking at? I'm not sure that was important. And this is testing your wires and everything else, I guess. But that's it, that's the end of instruction. They also have this section right here where you can update the information in your dash. Um, I didn't really pay attention to that or do anything with that, so.
Uh, and that's the instructions. And let's see, when is this dated? January 22, 2020. So, Mopa. And that's how that looks. So, how long would it take? Um, I don't know. I'd say like an hour. Uh, maybe a little bit over an hour because you got to do all the cleanup work, cut the zip ties and whatever else not. But I'd say if you dedicated two hours or if you're a pro, somebody's going to look at this and say, you're dumb. I can do this in 10 minutes. Got it. But if you're just an amateur and you're trying to do this, I'd say... <laughs> Reserve a couple of hours, maybe even three hours, so you can do it nice, casual, and uh, and slow like. You know, grab a drink and just kind of do it in an afternoon. Plan for that, but it wasn't horrible, and it saved me five hundred dollars because the hitch is already two hundred and seventeen dollars. The wiring harness is two hundred and seventy, so that's actually uh, more expensive. But um, the installation for all this stuff is five hundred dollars. But, so now that this is all done, I also talked to the dealership. I think they said $70 or about $100 to get um, the, um, the computer flashed to accept the wiring harness. But I tested it out myself, and it's lighting the lights on the tester. You know, they've got one of those hitch uh, test kits where it, you know, shows you the lights so you know you've got a good connection. So when I put on my blinkers, the lights flash. And when I put on my hazards, the lights flash, all that kind of stuff seems to be working. So I'm assuming if I was pulling a trailer, the basics are working. The only thing that is not working is probably going to be the uh, the brake controller, which I don't intend on doing uh, an install on a. I don't intend on using a brake controller because I'm just I'm just pulling a small trailer. But not to say you don't need one. I'm just saying I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna need to do it. And speaking of which, um, I'm actually going to show you that brake controller and show you where that uh, where that wire is right now. All right, so I figured I'll just show you how this wire came up. So this is the harness right here. Uh, this blue fastener right here or zip tie doesn't come with a kit, but it's just some zip ties I had. So I use those, but... Um, You've got enough zip ties in the back, so it's not like you've got to buy them or use your own. But that's the harness right there coming down from the bottom, like I was talking about in those diagrams. And it comes right here, is the ground, which is right here, and it attaches to this bolt right here. This is the front of the vehicle, right there. So, and then the other wire comes around, and it goes over here. And that just attaches right there, and you can see this is piece. This is part of it right here. The two red wires join to one and attach right there. And put your fuse box cover on. You put, put your fuse uh, fuse box cover on, and that's it. So remember, when you're doing this, you got to disconnect the, the battery, right? Just the negative terminal right here. So you can pull this off. What I did is I undid that, undid that, undid that, and I just um, put electrical tape around them so they don't touch or try to ground somewhere else. So that was it. All right. So if you're looking in here, there's this blue wire right here. This blue wire actually it's supposed to live in the glove compartment, I believe. If you do a brake controller that routes back in, um, but it routes back into the vehicle and goes through there. I just have mine terminated right here. So I just wrap some um, tape on that, electrical tape, and it's just sitting right there. So that blue wire is actually the brake controller and that would go inside into the glove compartment area. So that's what that is. Okay, so I ended up showing you more than I thought I would. I thought I was just gonna give you a run through, a quick summary, but I added a little bit of information in there. I'm hoping that maybe that's even more helpful than watching a whole installation video. Um, well, it's a little bit more helpful than just watching a summary. A full installation video would have been better, but it was so daunting. Because for me, I actually ended up first pulling everything out of my vehicle before realizing that the kit wasn't completely the same. So <laughs> I actually pulled out all the panels and everything in my vehicle. I took out the subwoofer, I did all that. So by the time I was done doing all that, I was just too tired to try to film it on top of that. But anyways, and, and the panel removing wasn't the worst thing in the world. So if you got that old kit and you're still doing that, not the worst thing in the world. It looks like a lot, but honestly, if you follow that Quadratech or that CJ off-road video, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Just do it when you've got time so you're not messing around with it, right? 
But um, anyways, um, this is a video. I'm hoping somebody finds it useful. If you do, good for you. If you don't, it's free, right?